Ting. <laughs> to fully understand layer masks, I need to show you in Photoshop. So we're going to open up Photoshop. I have two layers here, a green layer, which is the bottom layer, and a red layer, which we have on the top. Um, uh, I'm going to show you how a layer works. I'm going to label these layers first with my pen in black. I'm going to write the word one. And on the second layer, I'm going to write two. So now one, two. One, two. Two is on the bottom. Remember that. We're going to select layer one, and I'm going to draw something. Um, I'm going to, sorry, select a certain area of this photo. Pretend it's a photo. I'm going to select this box, and holding shift, I'm going to select another box. What we have just done is, in theory, painted on someone's face those two boxes. So the paint, when we create that mask, because um, what we've just done is drawn a mask, is going to stay. We need to let the rest of that face shine. So remove the newspaper around that paint and let it shine by clicking Add Layer Mask. Now, those two paint blobs on layer one have stayed, but layer two, being the rest of that face, has come through. If you can grasp what that means, that, that's pretty cool. I'm, I'm glad you were able to catch my drift. So, in, in another theory, um, you are drawing by selecting um, what you want to keep in the image that you're drawing the layer upon. So, when you are selecting, you are you were saying what you want to keep uh, after you click Add Layer Mask. So, this can be very useful. What I'm going to demo this with is I'm going to merge into this photo and this photo. So I'm sitting and standing in the same image, and I'm going to do that using masks. So I'm going to drag those both into Photoshop. They're going to open up in two separate images, and I'm going to make the coloring the same, which is already kind of done. It's okay. It doesn't matter. And we're going to start with this image. I want this to be our base. I need to drag away the lock, so it allows editing with transparency. And as for the second layer, I need to go Command-A, Command-C, so now it's in my clipboard, and paste it over top of my first image. So now we've got layer A being red. Uh, let's make let's make layer A the red. So red shirt is layer one and gray shirt is uh, layer two. So red and green. Okay? On layer red I need to select what? That's right! No, no. Um, I need to select what I'm going to keep in this image and the, what's going to seep through would be this layer. So I want to keep, obviously, me. So I need to go to my, magle my magnetic lasso tool, and I need to outline myself and any objects that I'm corresponding with that would be a little bit different, maybe, in the second image. Um, for instance, this chair. Alright, and we're going to click Create Layer Mask. Now what we see there is I just added myself. Now we can see that there's a couple coloring problems, which is fine to fix these. I can click the pen tool, click the layer, and I can kind of draw around, fix some shadows, things that don't really matter all that much, some stray hairs, and we see that the wall is kind of a different color, so to fix that I'm just going to click the image itself, image, adjustments, brightness, and we're going to just change the brightness a little bit. Make it a bit more blendy. That looks good. Negative 10. And we see there, ta-da, that's all we had to do. And if we see anywhere that's kind of screwing up, it would just be around my body and there's no more scrubs. That's all I had to do. So that is layer A and layer B. Now you can go create your own. I did that by setting up a tripod and taking two photos and the mass photo actually turned out looking like um, this. When I was fully done in Photoshop, that is what I was able to create. Me in a lot of different spots, which was very, very cool and a huge accomplishment for me, especially since I did it at 2 in the morning on a school night. Yeah. So, anyways, thank you for watching, and, um, you know, like this video if you like this video. Uh, make sure to comment, rate, and definitely subscribe. I'd love to have more subscribers. Who knows, I might subscribe back to you. Anyways, you guys have a wonderful day, and we'll see you later.